Informatica. Global Customer Support. How to create reporting service in Power Center Administration Console. To create the reporting service, first, log into the Power Center Administration Console. On the Administration Console home page, select the Create option from the left pane, and choose the Reporting Service option. The Create Reporting Service dialog box will be displayed prompting you to give the reporting service detail. In the Create Reporting Service dialog box, provide a name for the service. If you have created multiple folders, then, select the location, where you want to install the service. Select a license. If you have multiple nodes in the domain, choose the desired node for creating the service. Select either the HTTP port, or the secured HTTPS port. These ports are configurable, and you can have any valid port number. To specify the repository properties, open the Reporting Service Repository Properties dialog box. Specify the repository type, by selecting the database type where you want to create the Reporting Service database. After selecting the repository type, specify the following. The repository host. This is the database server name. The repository port number. The Oracle default port number is 1521. The repository name. In case of Oracle, this could either be the SID or the service name. For other databases, it is the database name. And the SID or the service name. This is required only in case of Oracle. Provide the repository user ID and password. If you are using DB2 database as your repository, then it is mandatory to provide the table space name. Provide the additional JDBC parameters if necessary. This option is not mandatory. Click the OK button. Select the second ellipse button to enter the data source properties. In the Reporting Service Data Source dialog box, select the Reporting Source. Select the Data Source Driver and enter the source JDBC URL. Please note, for Power Center 8.5.x, the Reporting Service will create the Data Source and Data Connector automatically at the time of creating the Reporting Service instead of importing the schemas for each of the data source. You can create the data source either for the Power Center Repository or Data Profiling or Metadata Manager. Enter the data source username and password. Click the OK button to create the data source. You can select the lineage properties if you want to view the lineage. This is similar to Metadata Manager lineage. Click the Create button to start creating the reporting service. The new reporting service will be created under your domain. You can enable the reporting service if the repository database already exists. However, if there is no existing reporting service, then an error message saying, you must create a reporting service repository before enabling the service is displayed. To create a repository, click on the Actions menu and select Create Contents. Select the default administrator for the reporting service. Click OK to create the repository for the reporting service. When the repository is created, the activities log will display a message saying, Action status for create content, succeeded. Now, click on the Enable button, to enable the repository. A green check mark indicates that the reporting service is enabled and is ready for use. Now, click on the URL that is displayed on the administration console to log into the reporting service. If you have the necessary permissions in the Configure Security tab of the administration console, 
you will be able to directly log into the reporting service. Else, the error saying, your local administrator has not granted you privileges, is displayed. Hence, ensure that you have necessary permissions before logging into the reporting service. Thank you. If you have any feedback on this multimedia knowledge base, please email your comments to kb underscore feedback at informatica.com.